Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to um, start off the MPC a little tutorial, short little series thing that we're doing. Uh, so if you remember we're having three different um, NPCs that were built up over time. So the first one we're going to be doing is kind of the conversation NPC. So to start this off, I've kind of just made a little base. Is what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up our environment. So in this case, our environment is all the basic objects and basic rooms and stuff, and stuff that we are going to need to build on it and make our NPCs actually do something. So at the minute, really nothing happens. So if you're following this um, exactly, you want to um, do as I say here. Otherwise, you can pretty much implement this into any game as long as you've got this sprite NPC and uh, object NPC. Other than that, it pretty much goes in any game. You will just need to add different events into the player, which I'll show you in a minute. So first off, you just need uh, to M an NPC and a player. For this case, I've just made it a width of 16 and a height of 24. And really, it doesn't matter. It can be anything. For this, it doesn't matter. So um, the origin, it really doesn't matter. You can just leave this whatever you want. Uh, maybe for the player, but it's not a big thing. So first, we'll just go in the player. So we've got two events. Everything here is just as normal. In the create event, we've just got these variables. I don't need these though. So literally all we need is a speed. And this is kind of the speed of what pixels it'll be moving at uh, per frame of holding it down. So I just set that to two because it works well. As I say, if you're not following this exactly, you probably will have a different moving. This is just to get it moving around. So here, we have something that's very, very, very simple movement. So I'll just go through it really quickly. What we have here is we have um, some variables. So we have a var right, var left, var up, and var down. And these just equate to whichever key we want to check to see if it is. So it's just in this case WASD. And this will just make it so we can just, instead of writing all this out, we can just put if right. Then we've already got speed, so we're just adding that on. And then we're just doing it for every other one. Here we're just going to add in a little comment quickly. And uh, this isn't really needed. However, we included it to make more sense. So basically, the bit here that we've got, it literally does nothing. So it, it does absolutely nothing. But it's just to say that we're going to stop, basically. So let's just put another one here to so stop. So also what you're going to do is, you know, if you have images, you're going to want to stop it. So image speed equals zero. We'll just chuck that in. Even though I haven't got any sub images, you might want to. And really, that's, uh, that's nothing to it. Let's just add some comments in here as well. So let's say uh, movement. Also, I uh, forgot to mention, I think, Throughout this whole series now, I will be commenting all the code just to make it a bit easier to read, easier to see. Because some of the like drawing that we'll do maybe a bit later in the series, it gets absolutely huge, and comments just to help to break it up a bit. Um, and also, we're going to have several different code blocks. So instead of having everything in this one step event, we'll have uh, several different ones like this. And that's why I've named it movement instead. Also, just really quickly, let's add a little thing in here so easy access. Because that's literally what it is. Okay, so that's our player, all nicely done and dusted. Now we've got our object NPC. Haven't put anything in here. Well, what we can probably do quickly is put a, a draw event. We'll just put draw the text boxes, but we won't put anything in there for the time being. Um, then we've got a room, so I've just named it room room. You can name it whatever you want. 
up a width of 720, width of a height of 720, really doesn't matter. Um, as I say, it's very flexible, the method that I'm using. Uh, so really, if you're putting this into your own game, all you need is your object NPC. It's not like if you don't follow it exactly, it's going to blow up. It will work. Um, but if you're if you're just going for the beginner level, I'd try and stick to this kind of pattern. Then I've just added a uh, object player in, and actually we can go and add in there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We can add a NPC. We're going to add it in a kind of corner, so it's going to be relatively far away, um, but not too oops, too close. And this is because later on we're going to make it so that if we move into its range the NPC we can talk to, if we move out it closes it down. So we need to add a bit of range between it that we can actually use. Then I just added a nice green colour because it looks like grass no views whatsoever, physics will just ignore and yeah well that's pretty much it. So that's our um, our base or our environment set up I believe is where we could um, We'll leave that for the time being. We'll do this in the next one. So we, basically what we're going to do is add some uh, variables in. So these are or macros as they're called here. And they're basically set right at the start. And for this we're just going to... Um, it'll be something like NPC interact or something. And then we put a value in of what key we want to check. And it makes it kind of easier to read. Um, easier to change, you can just go into here and change it and it's something that's kind of flexible also um, what I am going to be doing as well is trying to make this as, as efficient as possible so in the past if I've just been doing beginner sort of things I will try and keep it very basic and not efficient really at all uh, for these ones I'll be keeping it as efficient as possible and please tell me if it's uh, you've seen something like a silly mistake that I've made and I will try and change that so this is our base, uh, if we run it at the minute, we should just get an empty room with an NPC in and we should be able to walk around. It's really, really simple walking around scripts, you know, you could literally just copy and paste the one that um, is in the manual, that would also work, it's just something that, so that we can move around. Also, uh, yeah, the NPC isn't here at the minute because we just go in quickly. This isn't really needed, but if we just do uh, draw self, this will go right at the bottom. So let's just put a little note in here. So draw text box. Cool. So this is our base. This is gonna uh, be what we're gonna be starting off from and making uh, several different NPCs from this little base here. So, if you enjoyed the first in the NPC um, series, or if you're just looking forward to the series as a whole, remember to like, subscribe, um, or leave a comment below if you want some, me to cover something in the, the series, um, and I will talk to you later.